Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper England. We have Shafir starting as the blue Protoss. Bottom left hand corner, we've got Zvaz 3 starting as the Teal Terran. This is on Polypoid, and it is the loser's match from LA Land 3. I'm not sure if there was just like an opening grouping or Sva just came in late or half paid or what to end up in the loser's bracket. But there, or maybe there's just some opening games that are missing. But Sva, fellow moderator for the Artosa stream. And actually, at the time I'm starting, I'm feeling like this is uh, maybe the Artosis waiting room. A little bit later schedule on Twitch for... I'm not sure how close I'm going to get this. Actually, this will be pretty close to upload time because I haven't had a lot of games in between. But I am moving the current start time a little bit later to 3.30 PST. I'm not sure if that's going to last uh, forever moving forward, but we'll see how that works. Sva! I am not sure of his capabilities, but being an Artosis moderator, I feel like I have to root for him by default. Shafir embarrassed me in round one because I'm like, ah, Shafir, solid Protoss player. We saw him do really, really well in Chobo League and then proceeded to build double Siddle of a Dune and not have that great a showing. Looks like he's opening up with a gateway first build. Let's see if he tacks on gas after this. It is going to be cross positions. I feel like cross position tends to be a little bit more favorable for Terran. Barracks going alongside, so Sva going to try to use that gap to defend against Zelts. It looks like it is going to be a simulator first, rather than a two-gate opener, and also rather than proxy. I actually feel like the era, it felt like there was an era on Polypoid where proxy barracks was just what you did. You just went up and you proxy barracks your opponent. I'm not sure why that fell out of favor. Maybe just players started getting used to it. Regardless, I kind of want to see a comeback, and I'm wondering if we're going to see that at some point in LA land. Looks like we're going to see an, a cybernetic score before Zealot, and initial scout making its way towards that bottom right-hand corner for Zva is going to end up, I believe, with that scout before that Dragoon's in place to deny anything. No additional Zealot being produced, second pylon being plopped interior to base, and the probe making its rounds as well is going to check the middle of the map just in case there are proxy barracks. And also, I guess just a Actually, I might get first scout off just going for cross map position. That's lucky. Let's see if the Marine shoots the gap, makes it to that corner, bottom right in corner, finding empty for Sva. And yeah, walking up is going to be able to blockade that front if he holds steady on that ramp. Ramp probe is going to be able to at least. Oh! Good blockade. Good job on Sva's part, able to box that Marine out, range upgrading. Dragoon on the way, and that SCV should be able to cycle into the base to get scouting information there. Three SCV, or at least two SCV remaining on gas for Sva, so maybe leaving options open as the scout goes in and sees, first of all, two pylons, SCV versus probe battle initially, but also sees range spinning and is going to get that SCV out. So let's see if that last, no, still going to keep the SCV on gas. So we'll see if this is going to be a follow up of a two factory build if an engineering bay gets dropped as well by that SCV, the SCV holding short, the Dragoon coming back. Is Fog gonna drop something? No. Looks like that SCV just going to take some damage. Gonna be able to sneak back up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gonna be able to sneak back up though. And no third pylon as of yet for Shafir. So range about halfway finished, two Dragoons out. Drop the Nexus instead. Bunker being built out on the front door. Machine shop as well. And I feel like Sva, yeah, losing. I'm wondering if this was just a misplay, not pulling that SCV out, or if it is. Well, no, maybe this is going to be, in fact, a pressure build because we still have two Marines and more Marines being built. which And we got mines being operated with that siege tank. So potential fake double. In the meantime, though, four Marines here. Pushing that Dragoon back. Yeah, I assume this is... So you got five Marines, which usually indicates some... Sorry, six Marines, which usually indicates some sort of push. Shafir does have range. Should be able to stutter step quite a bit. Is dropping down that second gateway. Might even drop... Nope, just going to stick with that second. That Nexus means it's going to be a little bit challenging to defend. First tank out. Mine's upgrading, so the Vulture's going to follow. And Shafir not babysitting that Dragoon. Taking a lot of free damage, but at least now knows... That pressure is on the way. So two SCVs, a Vulture to follow, six, seven Marines. 
Always different number of Marines for these pushes. Two Dragoons on the front. This should be sufficient for Shafir to defend. He is going to move probes to that natural expansion. Not all that concerned about this push, although this is the better engagement point up on that high ground. The Dragoon's not meeting there, so it looks like he wants to go ahead and try to just straight up defend, dropping a third gateway there. Zva, in the meantime, supply blocking himself, maybe intentionally to go ahead and refill lost troops with reinforcing attack groupings. Four Dragoons out to engage this attack front. One Dragoon immediately getting splattered. Shield battery up, which I missed earlier. Mine is going to be able to get there on the ramp. The Dragoon to the south getting taken out despite the shield battery. One mine remains. And a bunker being attempting to be built. However, two Marines left. The probe's going to go ahead. Are they going to get mixed up in it? Okay, two Dragoons coming off the ground. One Marine left to potentially get in that bunker. The mine is gone. And no additional reinforcements. So only Dragoons being taken out. So the bunker finishes but there are no Marines left to sidle in. The siege tank being repaired, so Sva trying to get bonus out of this. And I'm wondering if that supply block was in fact unintentional and thwarted a bit of the action, but instead it's going to be a lost bunker. Although that will help with the, compared to the shield battery cost, several Dragoons getting taken out. Natural expansion has been secured for Sva in the meantime. Supply counts about even. A second factory being dropped Siege tank being repaired, a vulture holding up short with mines. Three gates and an observatory are out. First observer making its way forward. And right here, Sva needs to be careful because if he is not diligent with this siege tank, he's not going to have enough to defend back at home base because there could be a counterattack from Shafir with that Dragoon range and sufficient amount of Dragoons. That bunker's empty. The mines are not sufficient to defend. Siege tech just starting, but Shafir holding up short. And maybe just wanting to grab a quick third base. That shield battery also messing up the gas mining here at the natural. Which will hurt things down the line. But yeah, it looks like Shafir, rather than pulling the trigger and going for... Well, now moving with some counter pressure. Some vultures have been able to sneak across that southern edge, though. Shafir is walking out to potentially grab that third. Still only a single siege tank out on the front. Two additional factories. The second machine shop's been dropped. Siege tech still not finished. Yeah, and if Shafir had moved, honestly, that might have been a dead siege tank in some other action as well. Let's see if these mines to the south are able to get some Dragoon kills. So third being checked. Shafir should jump on this. Walking forward, seeing a bunker. So we know there's not a lot of Marines. And a single siege tank sieging. Yeah, just walk right in. Take the siege tank out. Ignore the bunker. Siege, siege tank gone. So now it's just going to be the high ground siege tank trying to deal with everything else. It looks like the Dragoon's going to walk up. Honestly, I think it might have been better to just pile in that back corner. But regardless, that tank down. And now, Zva in trouble. Needing to pull SCVs off the line to deal with the Dragoon threat. More reinforcements. Looks like holding short. Need to get in the battle. They are making their way across. The Vultures may be wanting to go ahead and sneak across. It looks like there are two Dragoons to go ahead and engage that. And it looks like with two Siege Tanks out and some SCV repair, Sva is going to hold. However, with that, Sh Shafir able to take the worker lead, able to get a couple SCV kills, able to keep that Siege Tank count lower. Might want to back off now. I think the Vultures were pretty easily taken care of. And Come on, Shafir, get out of there. Yeah, now able to pull out. More Dragoons making forward, uh, moving forward. Might want to re-rally them. And now he's going to go ahead and very comfortably grab that third. So as things reset, Shafir actually with a sizable worker lead. Sva, however, sitting on three factories. Has the armory cycling weapons one. Has some turrets up, so at least in a decent defense position. But is going to have to hang out a minute. And that is giving time for Shafir to tech up. Drop the robotic support bay, but also, interestingly, drop the Stargate. So no Arbiter tech that I see on the map as of yet, but is in position to make that tech movement. Also robotics, I'm actually shocked robotics got built here because I don't think it was needed. Could have been skipped. But we'll see if we see some reaver play because we already got a shuttle out. 
In the meantime, third base, just about coming online. Vulture scouting that 12 o'clock base, just to kind of check things out. Speed is being upgraded, so Sva may be wanting to shoot some vultures out on the map, play map control from there. That actually will assist at least in keeping Shafir's Nexus count a little bit smaller. He's going to have to play a little bit more tight and defensive with the vultures potentially running out on the map. Zelt leg speed being upgraded, the Arbiter Tribunal up, and Reaver is in fact being produced. I'll be curious to see how it plays a factor, and Sva moving forward. I think this is just to go ahead and potentially secure a third. Yeah, just going to press forward, secure some territory around here, drop some turrets, and potentially grab that interior mineral only. Yeah, turret placement already coming online. That will be the only anti-air. Reavers and Dragoons could disrupt that. Pylon Wall is going to help defend that third base on the opposite side. Shafir tacking on three additional gateways. Forge also coming online. Is going to be behind in the overall upgrade game, but it's pretty standard for Protoss in this matchup. Five factories rolling, two with machine shops, which will keep that siege tank count decently high. Plus one weapon's going to finish in not too long. A couple vultures are going to go ahead and sneak their way across. Not being very diligent to go ahead and check that three o'clock base. Never mind, just dropping mines now, checking that three o'clock base. Dropping a mine from there. Some dragoons going to go ahead, make their way up to the 12 o'clock location, clear that mine out. And if Sva actually gets a move on, might be able to run his way up here and get some disruption. Instead, some nice bit of micro from Shafir going to clear that mine, blockade the ramp, and allow that probe to go ahead and establish his fourth. So Shafir looking for more of a macro-oriented game and is going to stay one base ahead, which is about the situation he wants to be in. Reaver dropping, manages to get a siege tank, but not much else. Another Zealot Bomb. Actually, lucky I spotted that. I thought that was an observer for a second that was migrating across the map. But full on uh, attack. Vulture is sneaking up, able to get some pro kills over the wall. The Dragoons being lazy in their attack. However, that is not going to even up the worker count. Shafir still looking at a pretty decent near end game workers. The Arbiter has been confirmed. A lot of mines across the south edge. Let's see if Shafir clears that out. And the Observer actually able to get... Yeah, going to clear that out now. Oh, going to lose two Dragoons for it because he didn't lead with the Observer, though. Base going to come online. He's got a lot of Dragoons also trapped in the base because of this blockade right here that are very, very confused. We'll see if Shafir realizes that and is moving out. He's going to have good Arbiters and a, a decent amount of energy to go ahead and engage any sort of movement that Sva would play. Looks like Sva did an early transfer of some SCV right there, but should be able to make his way back. Science Vessel joining the fray. We also have plus two weapons, plus one armor being upgraded. And I think Sva is just going to go ahead and play this to the 200-200 point and let Shafir go ahead and try to match him in that overall macro game. Probe's now transferring to the upper, or sorry, to that 12 o'clock location. So it'll be two Arbiters with plenty of energy. And we'll see how Shafir wants to play it. Previously, if I remember in Chobo League, Shafir liked waiting for, it was pretty decent with his stasis, engaging late game armies. At this skill, uh, I'm going to be blunt, at this skill level, it is extremely difficult for Protoss players, or sorry, yeah, Protoss players at large, to deal with this level 2 weapons, level 1 armor timing around the 17 minute mark. There just seems to be, like, either there's lack of macro, lack of solid stasis, but all too often they end up just getting obliterated by that play, and I will be interested to see if Shafir can repel it. I think that might have been what took him out of the Chobo League run. Working on his own upgrades, losing some Dragoons. Do some mines to some Vultures to the north. Vultures doing a good job of harassing these Dragoons forward. And costing them. That's pretty efficient trades in that regard. The rest of the Dragoons moving to the south. At least clearing out the mine to the 3 o'clock location. To maybe grab a base there. Although I feel like grabbing that base potentially could be... 
a mistake. We'll see, though. Looks like Macrowise, Shafir doing a great job, is near the 200 mark. He's got that two Arbiters out in play. He's going to tack on a shuttle as well. Probe setting up to go ahead and grab that 3 o'clock base. Also staging out in the map. And let's see if, as level 2 weapons, level 1 armor finishes, if Sva starts making some moves, or if he's just going to straight out wait for the 200 supply. Looks like he's holding firm. That was way late. This is so... <laughs> way off of my timing. So 15... This is really early, plus two weapons. Feels like this is early. Mentally, at the 15.45, that's like bad commentator speak, maybe? So, good upgrades. But Sva, rather than going to press this, is just going to grab that 9 o'clock base and play for a longer macro game. Shafir has hit 200 now. He's grabbing his 3 o'clock. And I feel like the key for Protoss, if they're going to go for the longer style of match like this, is to go up and harass. We got an observer right there. Yeah, take that base down and establish additional things here out in the field. Looks like Shafir is going to start making migrations to the upper left. Some vultures are trying to shoot up there. Getting engaged. One of those photon cannons should finish to deal with the vulture. Siege tanks moving up. And actually, movements now from Sva. So Sva seeing the Dragoons potentially encroaching to that 9 o'clock location rather than engaging and stopping that base takedown. It looks like he wants to go ahead and pile drive some forces. So cancellation forced. Shafir not dedicating all of his troops is drawing back. The Arbiters are on the forward field. But yeah, trying to sweep across this southern channel is being caught from the rear out of siege. But not by a full attack trooping. It looks like Shafir coming from both angles is not yet dropped any stasis, however, Arbiter coming from the rear. The tanks are completely surrounded by both these attack forces. Now some good stasis being dropped. And Psystorm, Shafir, enveloping and obliterating this army. And now Sva in considerable trouble. Looks like an SCV able to sneak through. So a single siege tank remains, probably not for long. And actually, really good upgrades for Shafir as well. Plus one across the board. Trying to sneak an expansion to 6 o'clock. Looks like it's been spotted, though. That's going to get cleaned up rapidly. And now Sva in great risk of being starved out and flat out macroed by Shafir. Shafir sneaking through. Is going to collapse on that 6 o'clock location. Wipe that out. I don't think that's defensible. Sva is accidentally... Already transferred, well, maybe not accidentally, but transferred SCVs there, and he's transferring them to their doom. Poor SCVs just being asked to mine under photon fire. That's So they're obliterated. Upper left-hand corner is up for Shafir. He doesn't need to tack on any additional probes, just needs to transfer them around to get decent saturation, but has all sorts of bases up and running. Can just work on creating a sizable bank, hitting 200, 200 again, and pinning Sva in. Sva with a handful of vultures out on the map, but not much else. And honestly, needs to worry about with as much as he's been shifting troops out. If Shafir groups up a decent sized attack, or even a recall, he doesn't have a lot to deal with it right this second. Although Mines helping out a lot in that effort. Shafir up 40 supply. Level 2 armor coming online for Sva. But really hasn't been able to find a soft spot anywhere in Shafir's defenses. And you can see him kind of sending troops absolutely everywhere to try to do so. Has an 8 factory count. Two of those factories out in the forward field. Mains mined out. Natural expansion is very, very thin. Third base is fully saturated. Vultures at least going to catch some probes as they're making their way to the upper left-hand corner. Unfortunately, also for Sva, he had built his SCV count out as though he was going to go for a much larger base count. So sitting on 80 SCVs, that is chewing into his raw army count as well. In the meantime, Dragoons and Zelt sitting at the 6 o'clock, an Observer checking that 9 o'clock. And Sva just sending out Vultures, trying to keep it mineral light and hope maybe to get some mines out, thin the Dragoon Horde, 
Maybe catch some more probes and transfer. It looks like these probes are going to make it safely to the upper left-hand corner. Probe is making its way to that bottom right. Just needs to drop some stuff. Don't start mining it. Yeah, just deny it to your opponent. Zealots and everything else going ahead and clearing that minefield midfield. Single siege tank for backup, which is not much. Honestly, these zealots, if they just lead to clear the mines first, should be able to get on that siege tank. Absolutely no problem. Yeah, there we go. Clearing a lot out. And three siege tanks to the south, and that's just about it. And they eat, they just... At least the forward one, eating a lot of side storm. However, Shafir not being very... Diligent with his mine movement has no observers here. So losing a lot of troops mid-map, and that's allowing Sva actually to even the supply count all of a sudden. Sva sneaking that 9 o'clock base, while Shafir expands bottom right, top left, and we'll see if he grabs the natural as well. Honestly, taking more territory than he can mine right this second. Does have a lot of gateways behind this. Could tack on a second Stargate. All sorts of gateways behind this. Just needs to keep up with his macro, honestly, and keep throwing troops out, and he should be good. However, right now, Sva finding some breathing room, sending troops to the upper left, potentially to wipe out that base, maybe clean, claim it for his own, catching more probes in transfer. The Dragoon's somewhat out of position as the siege tank's setting up to the north. That 12 o'clock base and that upper left-hand corner now at risk. Shafir has superior troops. I'm just not sure where they're at right this second. It looks like they're starting to make their way across. Shuttle suiciding its way through. Zealots leading to go ahead and mine clear. And we got a lot of side storm coming potentially, but really good spread from Sva. I just don't know that he has the pure amount of units. We'll see. Shafir actually dropping below the unit count as he's making his way forward. Not able to get a lot of that side storm off. And really good spread from Sva so that he wouldn't eat a lot of side storm. So it looks like he is going to be able to go ahead and wipe out that upper left-hand base. Dropping Shafir's worker count to 55. So making a game of it, the 9 o'clock base has been established. You can see that's where all of the SCVs are. Single Vulture going to also sneak in. So might be able to clear out the probes as well. So Shafir now potentially in trouble. Zva sneaking out. Let's see if he can also clear out the troops to 6 o'clock. We grab a base there. But right now, Shafir, despite having a massive amount of gateways, a massive amount of bases, his natural expansions mined out. He's not really well saturated at anything else he's got. And so the mineral's not coming in rapidly. So he's got a lot of gateways that, at least at the moment, look like they're remaining silent. Allowing Sva to go ahead and move out on the map, reclaim some mines out on the field. And that's really been obliterating these zealot armies that have been marching their way across to try to clear this. See, so yeah, most of the zealots not even taken out by siege tanks, just running headlong across those minefields. However, Sva not having the grouped up troops to wipe out what's left. And as I say that, Vulture's sweeping in with SCVs. SCVs wanting to get involved in the battle. Love seeing that. Sva a bit spread out, but so is Shafir as he engages. Single Zealot looks like he... Nope, not quite able to take out a siege tank. Everything else wiped out. And now, the 3 o'clock base being shelled. And Shafir needs to get a move on. To defend that base, it looks like there's going to be a counterattack from Sva to the upper left. So Sva kind of playing Protoss style late game, being everywhere at once, wiping out bases. It's going to get some High Templar out of this, probably going to get some Dragoons and maybe some additional probes if he can get those Vultures up into the base. SCV's hanging out at the 3 o'clock. And right now, Shafir falling apart a bit, where he owned a huge portion of the map all of a sudden. Getting pushed back on all fronts. A nice stasis right there. Looks like he is going to at least be able to save that one base in the upper left. But that 3 o'clock base is going to get emptied of probes. That was a good mining base. And right now, as far as raw unit count, he's behind. 
sneakily mining in the bottom right. One advantage for him, though, is Sva has not yet mi mined an additional base. It looks like he's floating that command center out to grab some additional territory. He's currently on one base. Shafir theoretically is on... So this is emptied out, so I can't count that. So theoretically on three, but they're not very well saturated. Turret being grabbed. Let's see if that command center actually just floats Caddy Corner and tries to take that three o'clock base. SCV's distance mining the mineral only. So maybe just going to try to make their way there and hide. Sva actually ahead in the supply count, but a lot of that's in SCVs. Nine o'clock base currently undefended. Arbiter coming in to try to salvage, and it looks like some Dragoons getting caught on their own pylon wall. Unfortunate at the 9 o'clock, but as that, or at the 3 o'clock, as that's happening at the 9 o'clock base, this is a disaster waiting to happen for Sva. Psystorm has not yet dropped on the SCV line, but as soon as it does, that is going to be a lot of dead SCVs. Actually, it might be a favor, though, overall, to clear up some supply for Sva. Still needs the resources, though, to make it happen. Oh, I'm waiting for it. Not happening yet. Next has been taken out to 3 o'clock. Command center dropped at the mineral only inside 3. Did I miss it? I think I missed it. That makes me feel terrible. SCVs were... a Well, looks like only 5 SCVs down. Shafir now finding that inside 3 o'clock. Wow, this is getting chaotic. Potentially going to wipe that base out. So he'll still be sitting at three bases and is limiting Spa potentially to one as retaken the macro edge. Great upgrades for him as well. SCV's fl just scattering. But again, that might be favors to Spa because now he's at a more reasonable endgame SCV count. Lifting that command center up, I don't think that's going to survive. Obliterated. So nine o'clock base remains somehow. Looks like a Goliath was able to walk up in there and wide walk and push some troops out. But otherwise, Sva still needing to shut Shavir's economy down. Shafir refielding some Zelts and Dragoons. 64 supply lead going into the great late game. Bottom right hand corner is up, but the probe's not mining yet. Gonna lose all of his probes in the upper left hand corner. However, with the march to the 9 o'clock base, Sva might end up being baseless shortly. Zealots eating some mines. Looks like they're going to get cleared out. The Dragoons following up, pushing in. Another attack force of Dragoons making their way across. And it looks like a third control group sweeping to the south. And I don't think Sva has the bank to keep up. Two siege tanks making their way in. SCV's pulling off the line to try to mix it up and save their base. Six o'clock base. Confirm nothing there. Dragoon dying for insubordination, I assume. The Dragoon's able to wipe out what's left of the siege tank defense, so it is only SCV's left defending that base. And Shafir now with, I think, an indomitable supply lead. Now pushing in with what's left. Should be able to clear things out. He's still mining bottom right. Still mining a little bit at the mineral only. Point being, he's still got minerals in versus Sva, who does not. And that is going to be GG. Crazy one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.